Hey everyone, since a lot of you guys have been asking me for a tutorial about holograms I created on Instagram So I'm gonna show you how I did it uh, Basically it's really simple uh, The node setups are really simple Just some nodes, personal nodes and some transparency nodes uh, These are two different holograms I mostly use uh, This one is uh, made using a picture and some nodes And uh, this is uh, actually on a model of a fish uh, this model can be found on Sketchfab on the internet everywhere like it's free I'm gonna link it uh, in my bio uh, I mean, sorry in the description so yeah let's get started actually and also this works both in cycles and EV uh, just uh, EV is better for you know like uh, the bloom it gives but uh, it works fine in both one so uh, in this first one let's just remove all these so basically you need some one emission node uh, a transparency PSTF and a mix header uh, connect uh, this two in the mixer and a mixer into the surface so yeah basically you get like this white stuff uh, let's make it blue or orange yeah and let's crank up the strength to 5 uh, I guess 2 yeah that works uh, also we need a mix RGB node and uh, personal node yeah so connect this node in the color 2 and uh, oh sorry this one personal node so connect the fact into the color 2 and uh, duplicate this personal node and collect the fact to the color 1 and uh, for the IOR on this the top one change it to something that is near to 1 something like uh, 1.06 uh, yeah that works fine and uh, let's uh, add a uh, noise texture I guess yeah noise texture and a color ramp connect the color into the IOR of this second personal load and uh, from the noise texture connect the color into the pack and uh, scale up this noise texture to something out mm, you know something around 230 I guess that works again. Oh, sorry I forgot to connect this one <laughs> yeah there we go uh, it's not a little bit good right now but we can make it uh, so basically you have to do is uh, I guess move this one I guess yeah and crank up little details on this one to 7 and roughness a little bit so we're getting something around it and a distortion as well so it gets like fine you know it shows the shapes of the pieces uh, I think 4.3 will look good yeah so also set up uh, press control T uh, to bring up the node wrangler uh, if it is disabled then I'll go to edit preferences and uh, add-ons and search a node wrangler so yeah my is on so if you haven't uh, check this then uh, make sure you do it and after you do it uh, just press click on this texture and press control T uh, yeah and uh, I guess uh, I think the object works yeah so connect the object to vector and I guess scale this down to 0 on X and Y axis yeah so we are getting there on I guess let's crank up this emission yeah there we go so this is how we do the fish hologram you can see you can see transparency so yeah uh, this so you can uh, adjust it to your liking uh, like this color ramps and stops so you can like you know gives different effects and you can also uh, scale up this or scale down as always and also you can change the color here 
I can I can ship something with the blue. Yeah, blue looks nice. Yeah, uh, so yeah, you can uh, you can slide this this one to make it you know uh, look more brighter or more darker. Uh, like it's it's all up to you. Uh, so yeah, let's get uh, onto this one. So it's basically a plane. Uh, I just imported uh, image as a plane. Uh, so it's actually oh wait, it's gone. Let me just show you. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, this uh, this uh, image I found on the internet. I think I might just uh, import this one uh, as a image texture. So yeah, I just imported it already. So I'm just show you how I made this one. So let's just uh, yeah, leave this image and just remove the nodes. So first, basically, we need a mix shader and uh, one emission shader. Uh, and a uh, transparent shader uh, and uh, connect uh, this image texture into the color and emission to shader 1 and transparent to here and also cut this one so basically we will get like this but this is not at all <coughs> let's crank up this strength to something around 5 or maybe 10 I guess yeah uh, and we need a uh, I guess wave texture yeah, uh, wave texture, yeah. and also a color ramp. Yeah, <coughs> uh, for this one, uh, I guess we should duplicate this one. Make sure for, for the color ramp, uh, this is actually for the uh, these lines, you know. Uh, so make it uh, on the y axis so it goes like this instead of this and uh, scale up uh, yeah scale up it and uh, you can uh, use this color ramp to increase the black value or the white value is up on you <coughs> uh, so yeah and uh, I think we uh, we just have to yeah also let's connect this color into the factor of the first mixture so this get uh, like a little bit of darkness and uh, this transparent BHT into the next mixture so we get like this I think we should crank up the strength something around 40 uh, or 100 I guess yeah that works so yeah you get something like this you can see and also you can uh, yeah, these linings can be made smaller or bigger just play with this scale and stops and this color ramp to crank up the black and to crank up the white it's up on you so yeah this is the basic node also you can uh, uh, add a hue saturation over here between emission and the picture so you can change the color of the uh, uh, color of your texture or image you know you just set it to normal or you can increase the value over here also you can increase the saturation stuff so that's up on you yeah so that's just a simple node texture uh, hope you like it and hope it is useful for everyone. Thank you.